Hello and welcome to the Artist Toolkit tutorial series. In this episode, we'll create two custom abilities for our Warlock. The first ability will be a channeled ability that slowly drains target's mana and deals damage. And also, we will not be able to cast this ability on Paladins. Let's get started. Go to the Ability Subsystem slash Blueprints slash Combat Abilities folder and create a new child of channeled combat ability. We can use default settings except correct target class, which should be base RTS unit. Don't forget to set ability ID. To disable custom paladins, we should overwrite is correct target function. Here we should check if a hit result actor is a paladin. If it is not, then alright and we should return true but otherwise false. Also don't forget to add a call to parent function, it is very important. Now go to the ability subsystem slash data folder and open abilities data table. Add a new row and fill it. This time I want to create non-AOE ability. Now open Actors Abilities data table and add Drain Mana ID to your Warlock. Finally open Abilities Combat Constants data table and add a new row with Drain Mana ID. Here I'll set Tick Frequency to 0.5 and Tick Damage to 5. Now we must create a custom spell process blueprint for our ability. Go to the ability subsystem slash blueprints slash combat abilities folder. Here you can see two spell process blueprints, spell cast process and spell channeling process. While spell cast process have useful star cast and end cast events, spell channeling process also have unchanneled spell tick event, which will be called every 0.5 second as we set in combat constants data table. So create a new child of spell channeling process and overwrite on channeled spell tick event. Every time the spell ticks, we should decrease target's mana and increase caster's mana. We have access to the target through the hit result variable. To decrease target's mana, we should cast hit actor to I have stats interface and get its stats component. Now we can use an event called change current stat value. Stat to change should be mana and value delta should be our ability constant stick damage multiplied by minus 1. After that we should do the same with our caster aka process instigator. Cast it to I have stats, get stats component and change current stat value but now without multiplying. And finally open your drain mana ability and set channeling process cast to drain mana process. And that's it, let's test it. But firstly I'll add an enemy warlock and paladin to the level, because all these warriors don't have mana. It works as expected. We cannot cast it on Paladin and it drain target's mana. If you want to add particle emitter, you can specify on apply particle system in drain mana process. I'll use the beam, which is already used for one of the priest's abilities. Perfect. Now it is time to create non-target ability. This ability will increase caster's magic resistance by 100%. So create a new child of non-target combat ability blueprint. 
Set an ID, correct target class should be base artist unit and correct target should be friend. Now let's set the skill to the data tables. Abilities data table, actors abilities data table and abilities combat constants data table. Note that you can add as many stat resources to spend as you want. This ability is basically a buff and will have no tick actions. In this case we should set tick frequency to the same value as effect base duration. Now let's create the effect itself. Go to the effect subsystem slash blueprints folder and create a new child of change max stat value effect. Open it and set stat to change to magic resistance. Also specify effect ID. Now go to the effects subsystem slash data folder, open effects data table and add a new row for effect we just created. Also we need to specify magic resistance multiplier, so go to the ability subsystem slash data folder and open custom constants data table. I will add a new row and set its value to 2, because I want to double magic resistance when I cast this ability. Finally, open ability blueprint and add a new member to effect to apply array. This should be our increased magic resistance effect. Also specify effects constants ID. Now we can test it. When we use this buff, our magic resistance increases. This effect refreshes when we use demonic resistance again. In the next episode, we will work with building subsystem and create completely new building class. See you next time!